I was recently updating my remote pilot test prep course and in my research came across some very incorrect information regarding remote ID. So I just want to take a few minutes to clear that up here. Specifically, which DJI drones already have remote ID capability? And the answer is none. If you Google which DJI drones have remote ID, you will actually get some lists that say, these are the drones that have remote ID or are remote ID compatible or remote ID capable. They're very misleading and sometimes just outright incorrect. DJI drones, some of them, have a remote identification capability which allows law enforcement to track you down if you do something stupid with your drone. But it is not the same as the FAA's remote identification requirement as outlined in the Federal Aviation Regulations Part 89. Now, thankfully, DJI saw this coming years ago, and so their hardware in existing drones may be compatible with the FAA's specifications. We just don't know that yet. And DJI has already said that if their existing equipment meets those specifications, they will issue a firmware update to give like your Mavic 2 Pro, for example, remote ID capability, with regards to the FAA. But as of now, March 2022, none of them have FAA remote identification capability. Now, I know this is a controversial topic. I'm not here to take sides or give my opinion. I just want to clear up some information and give you some facts about remote identification. So let's take a quick look at what this means for us operators as far as compliance. And let's start with the timeline. The final rule for remote ID went into effect in March of 2021. It was delayed for a month, but what it says is that manufacturers have until September of 2022 to start complying with the remote ID requirements. DJI, for example, will need to start building drones that meet those requirements starting in September of 2022. Us operators, we have a whole nother year after that before we need to comply operating with or without remote ID. So in September of 2023, there are three scenarios that we are going to be flying under with regards to remote ID. The first scenario is with standard remote ID. So you have remote identification capability built into your drone, either a new drone or backwards compliant. And with that, you can fly under category one, two, or four for flying over people, flying beyond visual line of sight, and more. If you don't have a standard remote ID, it's not built into your drone, then you'll need to use what is called a broadcast module, an aftermarket third-party piece of hardware that you attach to your drone that transmits all the required information for remote ID. And if you have a broadcast module, you are not allowed to fly beyond visual line of sight. You have to keep it within line of sight or use a visual observer. The third scenario is if you don't have standard remote ID built in or you're not using a broadcast module, then you are limited to only flying in an FAA recognized identification area called a FRIA. And these are going to start popping up around the country. They can only be issued to model aircraft clubs, educational institutions, and so on. An individual cannot request a FRIA, for example. But if you're operating within a FRIA, you can fly without remote ID. However, you have to keep that aircraft within visual line of sight. If you're flying under part 107 operations, so commercial use, you have to have remote ID regardless of your drone's weight. If you are flying under the recreational rules, you only need a remote ID if your aircraft weighs more than 250 grams or 0.55 pounds. And in either of those situations, part 107 or recreational, if you don't have that remote ID, then you have to fly in a FRIA. So those are some basics about remote ID. If you want to read a little bit more, you can do that in an article that I wrote linked in the description for this video. You can also check out my remote pilot test prep course, also linked here, if you're considering getting your part 107 license and fly for commercial use. So that's it. Make sure you've got all the facts and we'll see you on the next video.